Well, good Saturday morning. I have really enjoyed sharing with you each day this past week, and I look forward to sharing a few minutes from my heart with you on this Saturday, day before the Lord's Day. And I trust that each one of us will open our hearts to whatever instruction we may receive from the Lord. And I know that God uses different means, different people, different ways to try to minister to us. And I'm hoping that he may use me for just a few minutes today to minister to you in some way. I was reading the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapters 5, 6, and 7, or what is known as the Sermon on the Mount. And uh, in the Sermon on the Mount, Christ gives just a lot of practical instruction for his disciples, for Christian living. We can benefit from reading the Sermon on the Mount, and if we obey uh, the commands and measure up to the teaching, the precepts of that, adhere to those teachings, our life will be blessed. And I do want all the blessing that God has for me, and I've found that as we adhere to the teachings of Christ, follow his teaching, there's always a blessing in that. I've found that a lot of the blessing that we ask God for is already ours through obedience. So if we'll just obey his precepts, I think that certainly we will be blessed. But what I'm getting at, I was reading in the first part of chapter 6, Christ said, When thou doest thine alms, now that alms can be interpreted as gifts, as, um, as acts of kindness. It can be interpreted as our gifts to the poor. Our alms are what we do to uh, help others along life's way in their journey of life. And uh, I do believe that when he said, when thou doest thine alms, indicates that he expects us to do acts of kindness and he expects us to give to the poor as we have opportunity and I was thinking about, you know, he says that when we do that, we are to do it in secret. Now, I'm not here today to talk about all the different times that I have been privileged to uh, help somebody in a time of need or distress. I thank God for every opportunity that has come my way in life to be a blessing. I thank God that oftentimes when the opportunity is there, that I have the resources I like to kind of, you know, give as the Lord directs, and uh, I believe there are times that he gives specific direction, and we need to do that in secret. I was sitting in church a few years ago, not that many years ago, but sitting in church one Sunday morning, and I was drawn to one uh, gentleman that was attending our church at that time, man that came to church and he was seated there in the pew that day and for some reason the Lord began to speak to my heart concerning that man. And I know that man was retired from uh, an executive type job. I know that the car sitting out on the parking lot that brought him to church was a big Cadillac and my first impression was certainly he doesn't need anything that I have. But you know the Lord just kind of kept my mind riveted upon him as we worshiped that morning. And uh, somehow, as I was leading in worship, the Lord was able to impress upon my mind that I was to somehow give this guy $20. Well, I'm not a rich person, and a $20 bill always looks kind of big to me, but I've always been obedient to the Lord. And so, at the close of the service, I called on one of our members to dismiss someone that I knew would pray somewhat of a lengthy benediction and I quietly slipped out and just stuck that $20 bill there uh, in the door of his car where he would see it when he went to open the door and to go home. Well I slipped out and I slipped back in quietly and stood there by the door to greet the parishioners well, he went out the door, and a little while later, he came in, and he had tears streaming down his face, and he was holding that $20 bill, and he said, what do you know about this? Well, I couldn't lie. I couldn't tell him I knew nothing about it, but I just told him that the Lord had impressed me uh, to go out and put that in the door of his car. He looked at me, and he said, you don't know how badly I needed this money, and uh, he didn't give a big sob story, but... He did indicate that he was having a rather rough time financially at that time 
And that $20 meant so much to him. Well, you know, I believe that we ought to give, and I think we ought to do it as much in secret as we can. I didn't make a big show of it in any way, and I'm not boasting about myself, except boasting that I was obedient to the Lord and was so happy that I was. But I do believe when thou doest your act of kindness or when you give to the poor, and Christ assumes that you will be doing that, as you have the opportunity, be secretive about it. You might lose your reward if you're not doing it in secret. Well, go out and do something good and kind to somebody. As the opportunity is there and as your resources permit, you will be blessed, I promise. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for the opportunities that come our way of reaching out and touching others. Lord, with our time, with words of kindness, with acts of kindness, Sometimes with the financial resources and other material blessings that we have, we are able to reach out to others. The Lord help us to take advantage of those opportunities so we might not miss the blessing that Thou dost have for us. Prepare our hearts for the Lord's Day tomorrow, Lord. Make it a great weekend for Your people everywhere. We pray and we ask it in Christ's holy name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that, and I'll see you tomorrow now. On, uh, well, not tomorrow. I'll see you Monday on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. And I know I'm going to see some of you in the sanctuary of the Lighthouse Chapel tomorrow as we gather together to worship our wonderful Lord. Goodbye now.